हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अ वेरी डिटेल्ड यू नो डिस्कशन बिटवीन आर वी कॉलेज एम एस आर आई टी एंड बी एम एस ई इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंप्लीट रिव्यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फी स्ट्रक्चर प्लेसमेंट एंड अदर डिटेल्स राइट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट टॉक about the rv college of engineering right which is one of the top private engineering colleges and actually uh, uh, started in 1963 so you can understand it's quite old and established and in terms of infrastructure rv college of engineering is spread across 16.85 or 17 acres right so which is quite decent with the uh, um, good amount of facilities or infrastructure and computing infrastructure is provided now if you talk about bms college of engineering so it started in 1946 so even it started before rv college of engineering right and uh, it is considered as the first private engineering college in karnataka and it is also affiliated with vtu similar to rv college now in terms of the area right campus size the campus size in bms is quite small it's 11 acres and uh, built up area is around 1 lakh square meters right so overall it's a small campus and talking about msrit ms ms ramaya institute of technology it is also quite old and established you can see it started almost the same timing as uh, rv college which is 1962 rv started in 1963 in terms of campus size msrit is a conglomerate campus right so they have in the same campus 85 acres they have the other colleges so infrastructure hostels sports facility and the green spaces are much bigger right so for which is required for the academic environment so from the establishment perspective all three are old and established but from the campus size and other perspective msrit is definitely the better option right you get more facilities so now let's talk about the quality of education right so one another parameter is the national assessment and accreditation council which nac right which provides the rating for all the engineering colleges and other colleges in india right so if you see now first talking about the rv college of engineering the nac rating is nac a plus quite old and established autonomous institute and nac rating is also good which is nac a plus talking about the msrit msrit also has got the good nac rating in terms of nac a plus with the cgp of 3.28 on the scale of 4 which is quite good and similar to rv college of engineering but now if you see about bmsc which is bms college of engineering its nac accreditation is a plus plus with the point of 3.83 cgpa out of 4 which shows that the quality wise every aspects if you put together academics and the research related thing it is better than the other three so if you see the round 2 if i have to say in terms of uh, quality of education little bit bmsc is above the rest of the two not that they are bad they are also equally good but bmsc has the better edge right now the third important point is the ranking right what is the perception of the people and the government which is provide ranking in the form of national institute of institutional ranking framework nirf ranking for engineering so if i see all the three colleges right performance bmsc first bms college of engineering if you see last year 2024 its nirf ranking is in the rank band of 151 to 200 but if you see in the previous years bmsc ranking was 100 to 151 rank category in 2023 and previous to that year it was 83rd best in india in 2022 so you can see the nrf ranking of bmsc is falling year on year right as per the government and ranking framework now let's talk about the ranking of rv college of engineering right so in 2024 rv college of engineering ranking was 99th best engineering college in india which is better than BMS College of Engineering, as you saw, because they were under one fifty one to two hundred. But if you see the rankings of previous years of NIRF twenty twenty three, RV College was ninety sixth best college, so its ranking slipped by three ranks. And before that year, NIRF ranking of RV College was eighty ninth best engineering college in India. So from twenty two twenty three to twenty four, its ranking is continuously slipping by four to five position at least. You know. 
on an average over last three ranking criteria right now let's talk about the msri team ms ramaya institute of technology the 2024 ranking was 75th best engineering college in india so traditionally if you see the ranking wise nirf has always given msrit better edge in terms of his visibility and the brand reputation right so they have been better than rest of the two so these are the few criteria in terms of academics ranking and but what about the placement so placements is also one of the important things which student will look into for the year wise how the colleges have performed so again this is the data which has been taken from M nrf ranking framework document right so it shows the last three years performance of each college so let's first see the msrit placements right and if you see in 2022 passing batch right 1124 students were eligible for placement and out of that 897 students got placed which is quite good close to 900 students got placed with the median salary of 6.15 lakhs so median salary was quite low so the number of placements were good in 2023 which is a tough year you know it showed a good improvement in the placement median salary you can see at least from 6.15 to 8 lakhs right which is good jump right of 2 lakhs approximately in the median salary number of place students were around 841 and if you see the toughest year which has happened is 2024 which very tough year in every college even iits have got the bad placements uh, 1075 students were graduating in the minimum time and out of which 787 got placed so the number of placed students reduced significantly by 70 to 18 less number of students got placed and the median salary dropped by small amount which is from 8 lakhs it dropped to 7.5 lakhs so in the recession times that is not the bad trend the median salary has dropped by 50,000 rupees now let's compare it with the other college so 7.5 lakhs was msrit now if i see bms college of engineering right in 2022 batch around approximately similar number of students were uh, graduating 1046 and 864 of them got placed so number of students placed is good similar to msrit but the median salary was 8.24 lakhs compared to 6 point something for msrit so this has definitely edge in 2023 passing batch the number of students graduating were more 1344 placements also increased to good extent 952 students got placed and the median salary with that big number of placements 952 is 9 lakhs so there is a good Im improvement in the median salary also and if i see in 2024 which is again the tough one of the toughest year in the engineering placements right 1417 students were eligible to get placed out of which 924 got placed so the core lower branches students would have faced a big problem uh, but median salary dropped by just 50000 so from 9 lakhs median salary median salary has come to 8.5 lakh but still it is a very big median salary and a good placement trend bmse has shown compared to msrit now let's talk about the rv college of engineering rvce placements right so again let's start with the 2022 batch passing right 1062 students similar number of students eligible 791 close to 800 students got placed at that point of time it was very close with bmsc 8.5 lakhs bmsc was 8.25 lakhs so both the colleges were almost similar median salary in 2023 passing batch almost 1072 students eligible 810 got placed so similar number not much difference but there is a big jump in the median salary now rv college median salary is 10 lakhs which is 1.5 lakhs increase and in 2024 which was again the toughest year in terms of placements out of 1087 students eligible 831 got placed so the total number of students placed is still maintained in the tough year and the median salary is no fall there is no fall in fact there is a jump of 50,000 in the median salary in tough year like this so median salary is now 10.5 lakhs so you can see two consistent year they have cross 10 lakhs median salary and the number of play students is 831 that means around 415 students have got more than 10.5 lakhs which is as look looks to be like an placement at nit
or a top notch national institute of technology so if you see from the placement perspective definitely the winner is rv college and much ahead of all the uh, two colleges which i compared on the different aspects so that's all i have to cover in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates